Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Perth right now, walking up to the overground station right now, and we're going to go ahead and do the Midland Line shutdown for this time. So, oops. Let's see the ah, the display board is showing High Wycombe right now, so that's why it's not going to show any Bass and Dean on the thing. Yes, another Midland Line shutdown this year. We just finished one earlier on this year. It's around a week and a half for Bayswater Station. So that's why uh, for the Bayswater Station works. And this time is for Midland Station works. They're closing it over the weekend from Bazin Dean to Midland. But also closed on Friday, which is today, which is a normal weekday. So that's why there is some uh, disruptions on the thing showing that's going to close. And there it is, shut down Midland line, Baz and Dean to Midland. Only three days and they call that a shutdown. So let's go and go up there right now to check out the Midland line platform. We're going to have the Baz and Dean terminating trains runner. They're going to do any special patterns for the services. We'll take a full journey from Perth up to Baz and Dean and see how the stuff works. And then of course 901 will be running the normal sections. After that, to go up to Midland, which I'm just gonna take a 901 because why the hell not? Plus, I need to film the 901 for the bus boarding project. So, let's take a look at that. This, this, that, that thing over there. That thing should have the uh, Baz and Dean Desto. Let's see whether the trains have Baz and Dean Desto. And let's see whether no, they have actually terminated trains in Baz and Dean in the past because sometimes for like nightly closures over the weekend, they might do the last train terminates at Baz and Dean, and then they can just run wrong way back to the depot because that's the last train of the day but this is during the weekdays and every single train is terminating there so let's just see whether they're gonna have any are they just gonna cross over and basically have a crossover tracks before we go into the station that they can just go in and then just go straight back or they actually need to do turn back sidings at the back past the station at like close to the station there it is on the thing Baz and Dean that looks so weird Baz and Dean on the thing. There that is. And weirdly enough, it's actually another one back to like the old, old days when there's no airport line because usually whenever they're closer, 901 and 902 will run together. But today only 901, 902 no, because airport line is running normal services to airport and highway Wycombe. So that's why. Let's go up to check out at There is the announcement for Midland line passengers. Let's get up there and check it out. It says track maintenance, but it's actually, it actually is track maintenance. There it is, the whole thing. And normal services for airport line and the 901 to Midland. The, same, the whole thing is just basically the same, but it's just going to have the Bass and Dean Desto later on for 901, which is not going to be included in this video. We can see it later on when I take it again. So let's just see whether they have the Bass and Dean Desto. That's, all, that's the thing I want to see. And then we'll take a full journey to Bass and Dean. Let's do it. Uh, what? Oh, okay. B series on High Wycombe there. I thought an A series on High Wycombe. That was stupid. <laughs> Set 110. Right, let's wait for our Midland train. This thing's going, so... Okay, let's wait for it. Now, I will really write everything in the description, but why it started shutting down over the weekend is to facilitate Midland Station works. They're gonna have some track changings because they're gonna move the uh, Trans WA track to another part to uh, further out, and they have built a random temporary platform. Oh, there he goes. They've built a random temporary platform not linked next to the uh, original platform for the temporary Trans WA platform. Well, they're going to start to actually make the new Midland station past the current station site and they're going to build it next to the Midland Hospital. So that's why, that's why they're going to start doing that. And also just to facilitate the tracks getting diverted and also maybe the new car park. So the old station will stay there for now, but no more Trans WA trains will stop at the old platform. What the hell's that? We're having an 
that a B series on the Victoria Park Shuttle? <laughs> is that a B series on the Victoria Park Shuttle? Not in service driving in here. Oh, that's just a platform six. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That's just platform six. I thought it was like going somewhere, but it's a three car train coming in here. It's probably changing over. Nope, just kidding. That's that's the test train. Just kidding. Never mind. That's the test train. Edinburgh line testing. There that goes at the back. Just arrived at platform six. This is where the Ellenbrook line will terminate in the future. Right there, set 123, train testing. It will go to Daglish after that, turn back and go straight back to Ellenbrook. Yes, they're full, doing full line testing already. There is one right there. And some of the trains already have the map, but I don't know whether I can get one for today. All right, let's wait for our Midland Line service to go to Bazendine. Let's see how many people get confused. If they actually don't clear the passengers, everyone's going to get confused because if they stay on board and suddenly they go backwards, like what? <laughs> Here's the train coming in here. Bazendine on the display board. There that goes, Bazendine. And here's the train. I don't think they're even actually playing anything saying Bass and Dean passengers or any like even Midland passengers going this way. Set 17. I'll stay on the platform until they change the desk though because I want to see it. Oh, we got staff here. Breaking A. And 25. We'll take 25 back here. That's fine. Here we go. I will stay until the Desto changes, hopefully. Then we'll get on board. We'll get a quick shot on the Desto. That might be the thumbnail, to be honest. So let's get on board. Bro, they don't have the Bassentine Desto. You've got to be kidding me. This train is not gonna run to Midland, bro. And then in the train, on the train also still said it's all stations to Midland, which is so stupid. But anyways, let's get ready to go. And there's the first new map I saw. There it is. Ellenbrook Line, Morley, Noranda, Balladura, Reitman Park, Ellenbrook. Balladura? Oh yeah, Balladura. Okay, good. I was like, Balladura. And everything. Of course, the sticker is gone. And Perth Stadium. And they removed the Thorny Line as well. So, but phony is there. Next station, Macaiba. What the hell is this thing here? But they are terminating at Perth for Edinburgh Line. They're not going further that way. So, but they will go there and terminate. I need to turn back at Daglish. So, there that goes. There's a new map. Perfect. Let's go, full journey to Bazendine. Before probably everyone just gonna get kicked out. There is no display boards, there's no Destos. Which is so bad, there's no Bazendine Desto. Uh, might just do the, uh, the, uh, the, the display board as the thumbnail then. Yeah, but then after I'm just gonna go take a 901 because why not? I don't know what I want to take the all the way to Midland though, but... This is MacIver. Unfortunately, it's a female announcer. I see how many people get confused later on when we hear Bazantine. Yep, big, big part of 31. Hopefully people are not staying outside because they saw the, de the they saw the display board saying Baz and Dean. So that's why they don't board. Hopefully they actually know that there's no trains going to Midland today. Next station, Claysbrook. <laughs> Good that's on a weekday because I can film it easy. I thought actually it's not on the weekday that I might plan to actually go and do it on Sunday, but... It's running also on weekday. 
Now, earlier on, Mark already went up there, and then I actually asked Mark to actually give me the clip of the 749 service that's going to depart from Bazandine over to LaSalle College. But the thing is, they actually, on the app, it shows 749 in the morning, going from Bazandine over to LaSalle College. Well, in the afternoon, they actually run that as a 753 from LaSalle College back to Bazandine Station, which is literally the exact same thing. There's no difference in sections. All the stops are the same. And then they run the two different numbers. I was like, oh god, then I need to film both directions with two different numbers. Somehow, no. The 749 is just a, it's just bullshit. It's just bullshit talk because uh, Mark filmed it as a 753 in the morning going to LaSalle College. So that's why. <laughs> I'm just going to say that 749 from Bazin is a joke. And I'm just going to say 753 run both directions. Because it's the exact same thing. There's no difference. There's no difference in sections. No one, no idea why they actually need to name it as two different numbers. But there are like so many duplicate numbers, like the same numbers for all of the Sterling routes. So stupid. There's like three different numbers going from Sterling to Churchland Senior High School. And then they're all like literally the same. Like one of them may be limited stops and the other thing is like not limited stops. So I don't really know what is going on for those routes. So when I go film them, I want to see what they are actually about. Next station, East Perth. Another test train. There it goes. 58. Because they actually need to do so many test trains for Ellenbrook Line, so that's why they actually have to do regular A series now. Even C series are running on Yanchap Line. So, yes, they actually need to run A series regularly, even though C series are also running as well. So, that's why already we got Mark filmed. One clip with all three trains at Yanchev Station. One shot. The thing is, even if they're running short on trains, why not do two cars on the Victoria Park shuttle? Like, why? It's been a, it's been a, a long time since I've actually taken a two-car train, actually. Because since, like, Armando Line shut down, there hasn't been too many two-car trains. Now, the one time they, they were running two cars, on the Victoria Park shuttle over a weekend. But why not just do that as a regular basis now when you're running short on trains? Especially off peak. Literally, no one takes the Victoria Park shuttle off peak. We want to see how they actually run the uh, Bassendine stuff. Do they do turn back sidings or do they do crossovers before entering the station? I don't think there is actually a crossover be before the station, but maybe I'm wrong, but... Let's see, it's just stupid that the 749 in the morning from Bazandin is actually just running as a 753 number. But that's good because then actually it saved me from actually filming the other direction as well as a 753 because... Mark already filmed a, a 753 desk though, and there should not be any 749, so... There are 749s, 749 is one of them from Thorny, and one of them is actually a Mirabuka service. Now it'd be cool if I can stay in baseball and actually see the test trains drive up the shaft, the track, to Ellenbrook. That would be really cool. Because the the, over, the tracks are going to Ellenbrook and Morley Station. So cool if you look at if you look at Bayswater Station. 
first day of operation for Ellen Brookline will be on December 8th. It's just a random special day for running. First day running will be on December 9th. They're going to run full trips with three car beasties. But on the first day, because they're just running shuttles between Ellenbrook Line, Ellenbrook and Bayswater, all the new stations, yes, they're going to run C-Series on the Ellenbrook Line because they can't do it. They're not running full trips to Perth. They're terminating the stuff in Bayswater. So that's why all the stations that's along the way are six cars. So that's why they're going to run C-Series full day on the Ellenbrook Line for those special services. Which is the one and only day you can see C-Series on the Ellenbrook Line. They're not going to be running B C series. They're going to just be three car B series because they need to run it to Perth. Now for the Ellenbrook line uh, train clips entering and leaving, it will be just featuring the new stations, uh, including Bayswater as well. For all of the other stations before Bayswater, I filmed it with an airport line B series, so it's literally the same thing. It's just a B series, so I'm not going to refilm all of the old stations with another B series again. So, I will refilm Blazewater and also the new stations to Ellenbrook for the Ellenbrook Line playlist, but that's basically it. This is they actually have to add an Ellenbrook on this thing as well very soon this thing but they actually removed it they're not having anything on it anymore so when are they actually separating the 901 from the main stops again at Bazendine and also at Midland because but when are they actually closed off the car park again for the 901 but it's just 901 though, it's not moving 900 as well, so last time we have 900, so that's why they do it car park closed off as well. And I just want to see whether actually any other depots are actually running the 901 again. Usually 901 is only run by PATH Transit. But when there's crazy shutdown, the one in the middle of the year with 900, they also ask Fremantle to do it, and even Rockingham. I mean... That time was with 902, so that's why they asked all the depots to do it, even the Rockingham bus up there. But this time's only 901, is such a short session, I doubt there's going to be having any the other depots running it. I think it's just going to be PATH Transit running it. Considering it's such a short session, I think within an hour you can loop up between the two stations, between Bazinghe and Midland. So I maybe like six to seven buses on the charge, and definitely PATH Transit can handle that. Plus, if not, they can just run NHs on us on the normal route. I we'll still remember this good old path part over here with the car park stopping with the forty-four in the past with the Horizons West bus driving through. This is Meltham. There it is, Baz and Dean on the display board. They're going to have to change the base water announcement as well. One that they're going to actually just remove everything saying nothing changes. I mean, they're just going to say next station, base water, and not saying changed at base water for airport and, Mid and Ellenbrook line services or Midland line services in the, in the future. I bet they're just going to do that because, because right now for the uh, terminating with the W patterns, they actually removed the, the all stations to Butler announcements now. But they changed it by actually putting in the wrong code and actually says this train runs from Perth to Madra, stopping at all stations. Which ended up is just wrong. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not going to Midland, everyone. It's not going to Midland, it's terminating in Bazendine, so... It's just three days so they don't even bother changing the display and desktops and stuff. But they should have a Bazendine desktop, freaking drive. Drivers should just manually type it in, even if they actually need to. The middle track, it is used for ready. 
for real because test trains are running through it. And actually, they don't have a sidings. I actually just saw that. Do they have a siding? Yeah, they do have a sidings. And then this is the track that splits over, so. So on the, on the day of operations, they can just do turn back sidings for the C series. And there's a the test trains right there, 67. What the hell's that stopping spot? <laughs> What the hell's that stopping spot? It's like way, way over. What the hell? What the hell? Are they putting Ellen Brook on the display board? If they're putting Ellen Brook on the display board, then that's for real. A real train train test. No, there's a train platform not used, but that's fine. So they will have 903 for Ellenbrook line replacement and hopefully after that all of the train replacement will stop at the bus station interchange. I mean train station bus interchange instead of actually at that random stop at the bottom because Ellenbrook line will come down through the like the 46 path. This is you're gonna drive like the 46. I mean they're just gonna drive like a 975 to go up to Morley train station, but next is Ashfield and terminating at Bazendine after that. There's the shaft. Oh my gosh. Yes, it's ready. There that goes. Opening in a month and a half. Next station, Ashfield. And then after that, hopefully the 46 will be a little bit more used because it goes to Morley train station as well. And we have the 975 coming over. There's not gonna be so many changes. I have no idea how to how can I take all of the routes. I plan to fly, fly back a couple of days after the train line opens, so we will have time to actually take some of the routes before they if I fly back. There's so many routes though. There's like over 30 routes. I'm not even joking. Are there over 30 routes? I think they're at least like 20. I try my best to integrate it into the uh, 1,000 subscriber special, but uh, now the 1,000 subscriber special will actually include all of the routes that got withdrawn, got changed, and also the new Ellenbrook line routes. So that's why I filmed it in the old version now, like 341, 342. They are going to get changed and changed into Ellenbrook routes instead of actually running around Morley and also the areas around. But those are just going to say that they're changed or withdrawn or pre ellenbrook line, something like that. Then they're going to put that there, okay? They're not going to put it into the uh, thing. All right, here's Ashfield, and let's see how they run to Bazendine. Were they going to cross the crossovers, or they're just going to clear the passengers? What the hell? Okay, having a little bit of slowdowns here. On the right. Now on the app, actually, it still says some of the still said 901 going to Perth passport for some of the midday trips, but it's just a glitch on the app, so nothing is running to Perth. Trains are running to Perth, so that's why. Hopefully, drivers do manual announcements. for the terminating. If it's for it should be Nick Station, Baz and Dean, where this service terminates. Yeah, hopefully drivers do manual announcements because that is necessary if they don't have the dis when they don't have the announcements. Fortune having haven't had a B series running on Beatle Miller line for a long time. And nothing, nothing special, just that, and unfortunate. Now hopefully there are announcements manually. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this driver doesn't do manual announcement. And it's just running it normally though. They're not having any crossovers or any random crap. It would be cool if I can hear it dong, 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 like that. Nope, it's just entering Bazini normally. There is a crossover track here though. I saw it. So are they just gonna run straight back or are they going to pass the station and then come back for a turn back siding? Okay, entering really slowly. This is Bazandine. This service terminates here. Okay, looks like people are aware. There is the stop separated again from the main stop at Bazandine Station. That's good. This is Bazandine. Okay, I need to get them out. Alright, that's full journey there. This is going back to Perth. Are they actually going to just do this platform and just cross the crossovers? I think that's what they're going to do actually. Yes, this is a Perth bound train. Last stop, Midland take outside buses. Last stop, Midland going outside for buses. This train's to Perth. Okay, so it's actually going to run backwards. So. Trains to Perth here, Midland take 901 outside. Alright, here we go. Baz and Dean, they're just using one platform for the stuff. Ba this trains to Perth, Midland take 901 outside, no trains. So we're just going to go back that way actually after that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so later on we're gonna film it going back that way then we can see the crossover so that'll be for another video so hope you guys enjoyed this one remember to like and subscribe click the bell so that you can get notifications by post check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my instagram click on these videos up top and i'll see you guys next time